Good morning, my friends. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, in our Wednesday Praxis group, the one that I'm a part of, uh, we spent time uh, listening to what God may have to say to us uh, through uh, a passage in Matthew 11 where uh, Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary, right? and I will give you rest. Um, it says his burden is easy, right? His burden is light. His yoke is easy, his burden is light. Uh, and as we reflected on that, it left a lot of us in a space of, of reflecting on um, uh, how life with Jesus uh, ultimately can bring simplicity with it and contentment, being satisfied in all circumstances. And, uh, and that made me think about this passage. This is Philippians 4.10. Uh, I, I rejoice greatly in the Lord. This is Paul writing. That at last you renewed your concern for me. They, they've sent a uh, they've sent a gift. This is the church in Philippi. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had an opportunity to show it. <laughs> he says, now you've shown me. He says, I'm not saying this because I'm in need, uh, though he sort of is. He's under house arrest in Rome. He says, for I've learned to be content, whatever the circumstances. He says, I, I know what it is to be in need. I know what it is to have plenty. And I've learned, I love this, learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. What's the secret? He says, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Right? That passage can has been applied to all sorts of things. That's not really what Paul is saying. He's saying, you know, being able to be content here, right here, right now, with whatever my circumstances, to experience true satisfaction uh, is to know that that everything else pales in comparison to life with God that's made available to us through Jesus. And so when we're yoked, when we're in life with God, uh, strangely enough, there are burdens, but the burden can be light, right? Uh, the yoke is easy. Uh, we can find rest and simplicity when when we're satisfied by him and by life with him more than anything else here's a prayer from blaze pascal uh, sort of praying into uh, contentment oh lord let us not henceforth desire health or life except to spend them for you with you and in you you alone know what is good for us. Do therefore what seems best to you. Give to us or take from us. Conform our will to yours and grant that with humble and perfect submission and in holy confidence, we may receive the orders of your eternal providence and may equally adore all that comes to us from you. Through Jesus, our King and our Lord. Amen. Grace and peace, my friends.